Good morning everyone. Today we're going to discuss all about Module 8, Science 7, Quarter 2, Part 2. This is Sir Topper, your Science 7 teacher. Before everything, let us have this prayer before the class starts. Dear Lord and Father of all, thank you for today. Thank you for ways in which you provide for us all. For your protection and love, we thank you. Help us to focus our hearts and minds now on what we are about to learn. Inspire us by your Holy Spirit as we listen and write. Guide us by your eternal light as we discover more about the world around us. We ask all this in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay. So this lesson is all about ecological relationships in an ecosystem. This is Module 8, Part 2. Before we have the main lesson, let us have the review quiz. What I know. Directions. Read and understand each question carefully. Choose the letter of the correct answer and key in your answer in our class point up. And our class code is 14484. Are you ready? Number one question. What is a feeding relationship where one organism hunts and one is hunted? Correct. That is predation. That is letter D. Number two question. Which of the following statements describes a predator? One, it is the hunter. Two, it is bigger and stronger than the prey. Three, it usually harms or kills the prey. Four, it is benefited during prey-predator relationship. Is it A, B, C, or D? Okay. That is correct. It's letter A. All of the above. 1, 2, 3, and 4. Let's proceed with question number 3. What organism lives in or out of the host? A, B, C, or D? Okay, the correct answer is C, parasite. Number four, which one is hunted and eaten in a particular feeding relationship? Is it A, B, C, or D? That is correct. It's letter D, prey. Let's move on with question number five. What relationship describes a close interaction between two different species? Is it A, B, C or D. Very good. That is mutualism. That is letter B. Let's move on with question number six. Which relationship that an organism benefits and the other is unaffected? Correct. That is commensalism. It's letter A. Number seven question. A clownfish uses a sea anemone as a safe place to live. While living there, the clownfish provides food for the anemone. This is an example of what type of relationship? Is it A, B, C, or D? Correct. That is commensalism. It's letter B. Number eight question. A mosquito feeds on the blood of different organisms. This usually causes discomfort to the organism and sometimes disease and death. What relationship do they have? Is it A, B, C, or D? Very good. That is letter D, external parasitism. Let's have question number nine. Which of the following statements describes commensalism? 1. One organism benefits the other. 
is unaffected. 2. Orchid finds space and shelter on a tree. 3. It is a prey-predator relationship. Or 4. Commensal benefits from the relationship. Is it A, B, C, or D? Okay, that is correct. It's letter C. 1, 2, and 4 only. Let's move on with question number 10. A feather fish usually follows behind sharks to pick up food scraps that they leave behind. The fish gets food and the shark is unaffected. What relationship do feeder fish and shark have? Is it A, B, C, or D? Very good. That is commensalism. It's letter C. Let's move on with number 11. Between two organisms, where one benefits while the other is harmed or killed, the relationship can be called predation. A. Yes, because a prey is bigger and stronger than the predator. B. Yes, because the predator is bigger and stronger than the prey. C. No, because the prey and predator have give and take relationship. And D. No, because both prey and predator are not affected. A correct answer here is letter B. Yes, because the predator is bigger and stronger than the prey. Number 12. Which one is not correctly much? Is it A, B, C, or D? Very good, and that is mosquito endoparasite. It's letter C. Number 13. What is the study of interactions between organisms in the interactions that organisms have with their environment? Is it A, B, C, or D? Correct, that is ecology. It's letter B. Number 14. Is the relationship between a host and parasite called mutual mutualism rather? Is it A, yes, because both are benefited? B, yes, because it is a give-and-take relationship? Or C, no, because the host and depends on the parasite? Or letter D, no, because the parasite depends on the host? correct answer here is letter D. No, because the parasite depends on the host. And last question for the review quiz. Which of the following statements best describes competition? 1. Organisms compete for different resources. 2. Organisms compete for similar resources. Or 3. Lions and hyenas compete for the same prey. Are four organisms also compete for space and territory. Is it A, B, C, or D? Superb! That was correct. It's letter D. Two, three, four only. Okay, so what's in? There you go. We learned from the previous lesson about the ecological levels of organization. These ecological levels of organization are properly arranged from the simplest called organism to the most complex known as biosphere. From these levels of organization, different ecological interactions can possibly exist. These interactions are characterized into ecological relationships. We will find out these several ecological relationships through this module. What's new? Okay. Identify the ecological relationship that exists between this organism in the image below. Okay, in our class point up. Okay? So, let's have it. What is the answer? So, this is mutualism. Very good. Okay, so let's have this. Number two, this is what? 
This is predation. That's correct. Number three. Very good. This is commensalism. Okay. Number four. Very good. This is parasitism. And number five. This is competition. Very well said. Let's proceed. What is it? So for this time, we are going to discuss the ecological relationships in an ecosystem. Number one, predation. Predation is when one organism eats another organism for food. The organism that is eaten is called the prey. Examples of predation are snakes that eat rat and lions that eat deer. Lions and snakes are called predator. Number two, competition. Competition is when individuals or populations compete for the same resource and can occur within or between species. When organisms compete for a resource such as food, space, or territory, an example is lions and hyenas that compete for prey. Next is commensalism. Commensalism is a relationship in which one organism benefits while the other is neither helped nor harmed. Examples are orchids that grow on the bark of a tree. The tree gains no benefit from the barnacle, but the orchids get shelter and space. Commensal is the one that benefits from the relationship. Orchid is an example. Next is parasitism. Parasitism is a relationship in which one organism benefits and the other organism is harmed, but not always killed. The organism that benefits is called the parasite, and the one that is harmed is the host. Parasites can be ectoparasites, such as mosquitoes, ticks, fleas, and leeches that live on the surface of the host. Parasites can also be endoparasites, such as intestinal worms that live inside the host. The next one is mutualism. Mutualism is a relationship in which both species benefit. It is give and take relationship. When one species receives food in return for transport transporting the pollen of the other organism, which occurs between bees and flowers. Next is symbiotic relationship. Symbiosis is a type of relationship which describes two different species that live near each other and both derive benefit from the relationship. Non-symbiotic relationship means both species benefit when together, but they don't live close together and they don't depend on each other for survival. This relationship happens when two species come across each other. Symbiosis describes close interactions between two or more different species. It is different from regular interactions between species because in a symbiotic relationship, the two species in the relationship live together. Many organisms are involved in symbiotic relationships because this interaction provides benefits to both species. These are the examples. And we have also the non-symbiotic relationship. It means free living and independent. It is a type of interaction in which individuals of two different species or two populations function in very close association but do not affect one another adversely and beneficially. It is also called neutralism. Okay? 
So let's have this. What's more, directions, identify the ecological relationships uh, that exist between organisms and key in your answer in your class point up. Number one, Huron and Carabao. Number two, intestinal worms and human. Number three, lion and tiger on the same prey. Four is bee and flower. Five, mango trees and grasses. Six, leeches and water buffalo. And number seven, birds that live in the hollows of trees. Eight, orchids on the bark of a tree. Nine, nitrogen fixing bacteria and legumes. Ten, hawk and snake. Eleven, playing basketball among humans. Twelve, lice and ticks on the fore and hair of animals. Thirteen, clownfish and sea anemones. And fourteen, Grizzly bear and salmon. 15. Barnacles on the body of whales. 16. Sharks and remora fish. 17. Bacteria and human. 18. Ants and amphids or apids. 19. Lichens on the bark of a tree. And last but not the least, dogs over a bone. Okay, let's have it. For number one, that is commensalism. Number two, parasitism. Number three, competition. Four, neutralism. Five, competition. Six, parasitism. Seven, commensalism. Eight, commensalism. Nine is mutualism. Ten, predation. Eleven, competition. Twelve, parasitism. Thirteen, commensalism. Fourteen, predation. Fifteen, sixteen, commensalisms. 17, it could be parasitism or mutualism. 18, 19, commensalism. And last but not the least, 20, we have competition. So that's all for what's more. What I have learned. So you're given a time to read this one. Read and understand the paragraph carefully. Identify the correct words that fit in the given sentences in the box below. Write your answer on the separate sheet of paper. So we have the short answer for our class point up. The words in the box are competition, predation, predator, non-symbiotic, prey, different, commensalism, orchid on a tree bark, same, commensal, host, peas and flowers, ectoparasites, in the parasites, mutualism, symbiotic. Okay, so let us reveal the answer. For number one, Predation is when one organism eats another organism for food. The organism that is eaten is called the prey. Lions and snakes are called predator. Competition is when individuals or populations compete for the same resources and can occur within or between species. Commensalism is a relationship in which one organism benefits while the other is neither helped nor harmed. Examples are orchids that grow on the bark of a tree. Orchid is a commensal. Parasitism is a relationship in which one organism benefits and the other organism is harmed. Okay? But not always killed. Parasites can also be endoparasites, such as intestinal worms, that live inside the host. Mutualism is a relationship in which both species benefit. When one species receives food in return for transporting the pollen of another organism, which occurs between the bees and the flowers, neutralism is a symbiotic relationship. So what can I do? So you're given this one. So you are going to look around you, observe the lawn or backyard of your house, identify the ecological relationship that exists. You need to draw a simple illustration of this ecological relationship. Give a brief explanation of its importance and suggest ways towards its care. Write your answer in a separate sheet of paper. Or in this case, you're going to fill in the space or the rectangular box there. And we have this performance rubrics. Look for the criteria. We have drawing, technique, and understanding of concepts, craftsmanship, and creativity. So please look at or focus yourselves with the highest point, which is 8 points. 
Good luck! This will be your first assignment for Module 8, Part 2. Okay, so let's help. The assessment, let us see if you learned with this discussion or lesson. So directions, read and understand carefully. Choose the letter of the correct answer and key in your answer in the class point up. Okay, so we're going to use short answer. Number one and number two. What would be the answer? Number one, in a predation relationship between snake and mice, what organism is the hunter? Very good, that is a snake, letter D. Number two. Between a lion and a deer, which one is killed and eventually eaten by the predator? Correct, uh, that is A, deer. Number three, which of the following is not an external parasite? Very good, intestinal worms. Number four, which one is hunted and eaten in a particular feeding relationship? That's correct. It's letter D, prey. Number five, what relationship describes a close interaction between two different species? Correct. That is symbiotic. Which relationship that an organism benefits while the other is unaffected? Correct. Letter C. Lichens on the bark of a tree. 7. An orchid uses a bark of a tree as a safe place to live. While living there, the tree provides space and shelter for the orchid. This is an example of what type of relationship? Correct. Very good. That is commensalism. Letter A. Number 8. A leech feeds on the blood of different organisms. This usually causes discomfort to the organism and sometimes disease and death. What relationship is being displayed between leech and organisms? Correct. This is parasitism. Letter D. Let's move on with 9 and 10. Which relationship shows that both organisms benefit each other? Correct. B and the flower. Letter C. Number 10. During commensalism, remora fish usually follows behind whale to pick up food scraps that they leave behind. Which one is the commensal and why? That is correct. That is letter B. Remora fish because it gets its food behind whale. Let's have number 11. Is the relationship that exists between a flower and a bee called mutualism? Yes, because the flower is pollinated through the bee. It's letter B. Number 12. Are intestinal worms called endoparasites? Yes, because they suck nutrients inside of the host. It's letter A. Number 13. Ecology is to ecosystem and ecosystem is to blank. Correct. Living things and physical environment. That is letter D. Okay. Second to the last. Which of the following statements best describes parasitism? One, it is a host and parasite relationship. 2. Parasite sucks nutrients from the host. 3. The host is either affected or harmed. Or 4. The host benefits while parasite is affected. Correct. That is letter C. 1, 2, and 3 only. Congratulations. And last but not the least, what happens if two organisms rely on the same limited resource? Very good. Uh, there is the so-called competition. It's letter A. 
Okay? For those who have got it perfect or for those who have their mistakes, okay, all you need to do is go back with this lesson, study very well, so that if you have your um, exam, this module or this video lesson will help you a lot. Okay? So there is an additional activities, direction, given an illustration below. Name five ecological relationships that can exist between organisms. Write your answer in a super sheet of paper. So this is assignment number two. Okay? If you don't have any question with this lesson, thank you and good morning. This is our topper, yours truly.